um, just want to, before I button this thing up, I want to show you some things I did on my latest build. This one's going out to uh, New Mexico to my son's father-in-law. And we're co-in-law parents or something or other, whatever. But his name is Dale. So we have Dale's Pale Ale as the theme for this cigar box. 24-inch scale, um, a bamboo flooring for a fretboard, maple neck, Don Tomas uh, cigar box. And you'll notice I used the bottom of the box for the top, if you will. Uh, one of the reasons I did that was uh, one thing, you can leave it fully strung and get to the inside, which is kind of cool. And then secondly, thank you Mr. Dell Puckett for this little trick, a little uh, reverb spring built into the guitar. Pretty cool. So anyways, I'm going to uh, button this thing up, put some nice corners to seal it up tight. And uh, I'll be back in a minute, let you know how it sounds. All right, all right, we're back with uh, Dale's Pale Ale, the build that I'm doing for my son's father-in-law, Dale, out in New Mexico. Uh, here we go. Flying Dog Guitars. Uh, start out with a little acoustic. We got a little taste of it earlier. What's kind of fun is uh, plugging it in, obviously. It does have a piezo pickup. It is awful quiet out here in my garage. This is a big room. Um, but inside a bedroom or something, this acoustically is pretty nice. All right, I'm in, plugged into my Vox Mini 5 rhythm amp on just a clean setting, uh, no effects at all. And, uh, to clean and then if you really want to have fun we can get crazy get ready Have it. Dale's Pale Ale. Have fun with it, Dale. I hope you like playing it as much as I had fun making it. Catch you later. Bye.